So we've now uh, mitered our corners and you can see that they are ready to go together. At this stage we can start to remove uh, the wood, we can use our template again in the middle and we can make sure this is central. We can take our pencil and just mark where we're going to cut. The middle part is going to be wasted away. So on that we're going to use our hatched lines to mark the waste. Okay, so we've marked the front here. We now need to know how far back we're going to chisel out. So we need to go back uh, the distance of this MDF, which is 4 mil. There's a number of techniques we could do. One, we've used our old friend the marking gauge. We can set that needle so that it is um, hitting the end of the MDF there. Uh, and that is 4 mil. So we could use that and then we could drag, pushing one against the other, checking the angle here. Okay, I'm not trying to drag it like so, I'm not going to drag it off, I'm using the stock, I'm pushing up against, I'm rotating the needle so it's 45 degrees, and then we just very lightly just mark down like so, so that you can see, you can then just put your pencil into that mark. And now we know to go back until we hit that line. The alternative could be just use a steel rule, if you want, uh, just mark four millimetres. You could also use a little carpenter's trick where you put the pencil against the wood and use your finger as a rule. Um, it can be quite effective to draw straight lines once you have that knack. If all else fails, you could just put two marks, one four mil here, one four mil here, and you can join the dots. Well, I prefer it if you tried one of the other methods. Here you'll see the waste from the top view, and there's the waste from the, the uh, side view. What you now do is you put it into our wood vise. You take a chisel. I always suggest you look at the, uh, the end of the chisel to check there's not too much damage, there's not any nicks and dense, if you are always able, always try and use a nice sharp looking chisel. And we take our mallet. The first job you're going to do is to place it in the waist side of that line. And then hold it at the top, making sure it hasn't moved. Just give it a little tap with the mallet. Then you're going to move it down. You're going to put this corner into the groove you already created rock it over and a two taps again. Advance it again, put in the corner in like so. Okay, and then we do the same on the other side, flat side facing this. If you go the bevel side, then you're going to uh, compress the good wood. We don't want that, so we're going to have the flat side facing the good wood. Again, just nick it into place like so, rock it, hold it at the top. Once you've got that, you can go back over again. It's easy to follow the second time. You won't be able to go the whole depth four mil deep in one go. Now we're going to have the bevel facing downwards as we did last year, our pro learn, and we're going to start to remove remove this will be very very careful when you come to this joint. If you go too far all this will fall away and you'll have to start again. See here, I'm just literally just tapping when we get this close. Uh, you could use your hands to do this, and it would be called the preferred method, 
if these were very, very sharp, I just feel that some people find they have more control when they use a mallet because you can give lots of little taps and you're not relying on the strength of your hands. Be patient when you're close here. Any movement and you will just remove this whole piece of wood. There's no cut to stop it happening. Okay. When we get to the stage where that wood isn't coming away, we go back in with our chisel. we can go a little bit deeper. Okay. Last inspection, you should see that the pencil mark is still there, which is good. I'm on the waste side, uh, and now I'm going to go up with the MDF we cut earlier, and it should squeeze in there. <laughs> 